How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. So you may have seen my video from last night or yesterday basically. I uploaded a short video about the best UDC limited updates. If you haven't seen this video go and watch it before you know continuing to watch this video because this has all of like the previous information and in. pretty much yeah Roblox released a ton of good UDC limited updates. Well they weren't released just yet but they are coming next week. There was like limits on free items um, like community made events where you can add UDC UGC Limited to specific games and those games only. Yeah, the updates in this video were amazing, so go and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Now in yesterday's video guys, I mostly wanted to keep it good news only, but there was also a section I missed out on purpose, and the reason why I didn't include it is because I wanted to make a separate video talking about it. Some of you guys have probably seen this already, but if you scroll past all of the good news, there is a paragraph right at the end which isn't really that great, and it's this part here where it says what's next. So Roblox go on to say, over the past 10 years, we've been regularly making Roblox Created Limiteds. So yeah, they're talking about the official stuff here, not like the UGC Limiteds. With the announcement of opening up Limiteds to the community, we no longer plan to publish Roblox Created Limited items on a regular basis, as we always strive to be the platform that serves the community. So pretty much what they're saying here, long story short, right? They're not going to be making official Roblox Limiteds anymore, or maybe as much. I guess we got lucky around around this time last year where Roblox started releasing like loads of decent limiteds because previous to that we only had sponsored items and I think previous to the sponsored limiteds we had nothing for like a couple of years. Anyway they also go on to say this means creators will not have to compete with the new Roblox creator limiteds and more earnings go to the community. I kind of disagree with that because we're not really competing. The thing with the Roblox limiteds right they were sort of just finding like really old and obscure items and making them limited and I was a big fan of that. If you people were moaning but whatever Roblox does people would get angry. So yeah it's kind of sad to read this to be honest but I think a lot of people are getting a bit too worried or maybe a bit too upset because keep in mind guys they said we no longer plan to publish Roblox create limited items on a regular basis. They didn't say never so even though they might slow down a lot I would imagine we might have more sponsored limiteds in the future even though UDC limiteds did grow on me. At first I thought it would be a disaster it kind of was maybe in a way but now I've got to admit I do kind of like them. I thought it would be more of a mess than they actually were. But the biggest problem is, guys, we can't trade them. So if Roblox is saying they're no longer releasing official Roblox Limiteds anymore, well, trading is kind of going to die down quite a bit. Even Roblox Trading News was saying here, it would honestly just be a good idea for Roblox to allow UDC creators to make their items tradable. And yeah, I've got to agree, this could be a disaster. I mean, stuff will probably go wrong. I guess a lot of people will get scammed or something, because obviously a lot of noobs own like UDC Limiteds. But we don't really want trading to die. That's the thing. Trading is a nice feature. It would also be nice if people could trade without having to buy premium, but I doubt Roblox would ever do that. Otherwise, nobody's going to buy premium. It would literally be pointless. The saddest thing as well is there's so much off-sell items that deserve to go limited. As we can see in this tweet from Rollymons, definitely some of these items pictured, they should have gone limited as well. And in this tweet from Grav, the work clock headphones, they should have gone limited. The classic pumpkin as well. Maybe not so much the bigger head because that just reminds me of Mr. Obvious. Yeah, that's a bit of a cursed item to go limited. I do know though, when Roblox updated the avatar shop or catalog, whatever it's called, quite a lot of the latest limiteds just got lost and people didn't find them. So yeah, quite a few of the things on here, I didn't even realize were limited anyway. The evil jester, what the heck? When did some of this stuff go limited? I feel like unless you check the Rolling Ones website or you follow those like trading accounts on Twitter, you probably wouldn't have even noticed. So that's the thing. Maybe people are sad about this now, but most of these items items got kind of forgotten. So there we are guys, if there's any information to take away from this, it's that trading is not ending. It's just Roblox is not really going to be making official limiteds anymore. Well, maybe not as many, we don't really know. I assume that more like sponsored official limiteds are going to come out. I don't think those would stop because brands seem to like them. But yeah, I think that's it for this video guys, so see ya.